Creatopedia presents Lithium Basics. Your teacher will let you know how they want you to demonstrate what you learn from watching this video. Keep that in mind as you view Lithium Basics, and especially how what you learn about lithium matters in connection with lithium-based batteries. Lithium, chemical symbol Li, atomic number 3, is a soft, silvery white metal positioned at the top of group 1 of the periodic table, called the alkali metals group. This group or family is made up of six chemical elements, lithium at the top, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. As a group, they're extremely reactive. Each alkali metal has just one electron in its outermost electron shell, a lone valence electron. As you may know, elements with this arrangement lose their lone valence electron easily to many other substances. They are so reactive with other substances that, as a group, they're almost always combined with other elements in nature as minerals. This means they must be processed in some way in order to get them into pure or elemental form. Lithium was discovered in this mineral, petalite, by Swedish chemist Johns Jacob Berzelius in 1817. Here's a demonstration of how soft lithium metal is. Notice too how silvery white the newly exposed lithium is as the cut is made, before it's had time to react with anything in the air. Exposed to air, pure lithium tarnishes quickly and easily, oxidizing primarily to lithium oxide, Li2O, appearing darker gray on the outer surface of the lithium. In its pure form, lithium is so reactive that, like most of the alkali metals, it must be stored in something like mineral oil to keep reactive substances in the air away from its surface. Remember, pure lithium has just one valence electron to lose to achieve a full and stable outer electron shell arrangement. Lithium will react with many substances and react quickly in order to lose that lone valence electron. You'll see that for yourself in a moment. One of the things you can't see in this video is how very light each small piece of lithium is. Under standard conditions, lithium is the least dense of all of the 60 plus metals. Lithium's density is about half that of water's, so it floats on water, as you'll see. The reaction you're about to see is the reaction of lithium with water. First, you'll see the addition of a phenolphthalene indicator to the water. Phenolphthalene is clear in acidic conditions even when slightly basic. More basic than that, about pH 9, and phenolphthalene turns light pink and then stronger pink to purple, indicating more and more basic conditions. Let's preview the reaction you're going to see. At the microscopic level, two molecules of water, which is a liquid, react with two atoms of lithium metal, a solid, to produce two lithium hydroxides. Lithium hydroxide is a salt which immediately dissolves into the water. Hydroxide ions dissolved in water make the solution basic. Remember, we put phenolphthalein in the water to indicate basic conditions with color. Also produced will be a molecule of hydrogen, a gas, which will also be visible to you. Now let's observe that reaction on our level, the macroscopic level, with that microscopic reaction happening trillions and trillions of times each second.
Review this video as necessary so that you may demonstrate what you've learned the way your teacher expects. We hope you've enjoyed our video. Have a great day.